Welcome guys, Alex Edges here from Golfbox and today we're looking at the new TaylorMade M5 driver. With TaylorMade making a really strong statement by saying everyone's going to get faster. Mm. <laughs> Seriously though, is everyone actually going to get quicker in 2019? Probably not everyone, no. Um, big statement, but you've got to try it. I've not hit this thing yet. It could be the next Nimbus 4000. Who knows? Um, the only thing I can do is try it. And I'm really interested to see any speed gains between the M3 head and the M5. So I will be doing a head-to-head. -head. If you want to see that, comment below. Do it, and I will do it. Whilst you're there, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit subscribe because we've got a lot of cool content coming up in 2019. So first things first, looks on the M5 driver. Would you go in a store and pick this up? Oh, I'm sorry. I absolutely love it. I would not hesitate in picking this up and walking out the shop. Paying for it first and then walking out the shop, ideally. But yes, people will look at this with heart eyes. Other people will just see poo emoji. But it's personal preference. Not everyone is going to like the same thing. There's a lot going off on the bottom of the driver. Um, we, I only hope that this weighting system is going to enhance the performance, otherwise it's going to be one expensive Rubik's Cube. I have got so much to talk about with this driver, but I'm going to delay the shots no longer. I need to hit one. I am so keen to hit this driver. First impression though is, it feels quite long. I've measured it with the other drivers and it is the same length, so it just must, must just be my eyes. But everyone, if you've seen the reviews, you know I like a shorter driver. I'm not going to write it off, but let's give it a hit. So I'm suffering with back issue. Speed will not be there. Um, I've said that with other reviews, but that's a pretty good start. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Mm. So, unless you were living under a rock last year, you would have heard of Twist Face. Crikey, controversial. It caused chaos across the globe. Um, some people liked it, some people didn't like it, which is natural, but it was very passionate, hate or love. Um, no in between, really. It was You were either Team TaylorMade or you definitely weren't Team TaylorMade. Probably going to be the same this year because, guess what? The twist face is still here. We're still twisting in 2019. So if you don't know what twist face is, in a nutshell, it's a curvature of the face that's going to help common miss hits, so high toe and low heel. The high toe has been pulled back, stretched backwards, so it's pointing high and right. The, the low heel is stretched backwards, it's pointing low and to the left. It's all to help with consistent spin numbers, hopefully trying to help us find more fairways. Sorry, I've got to go again. That felt absolutely awesome. <laughs> that felt so good. Yeah. Take that every second day of the week. Out the screws, as one would say. Speaking of screws, now we move on to the main story of the M5 driver. Have you seen these things? How strange. Have TaylorMade got a screw loose? Opportunity now to leave, because there are going to be so many screw and tool puns throughout this review, okay? You know the drill. Bet you saw that coming, didn't you? I'm going to leave. Okay. No more. I promise you, no more. So these screws are actually holding in tuning tigers. They're here for a very good reason. In tailor-made terms, they call it tuning resin. So without this tuning resin, this driver, in fact, would be illegal. It's that quick. This tuning resin is it's tuned the driver. Each individual driver is tuned to maximize COR. We are at the absolute peak of COR. We can't have any more. Sorry. So this um, speed injection is speed injected twist face. So it, they work together. So we've got the speed of the face and also the twist face. It, it's the same thing. It works hand in hand. So we've got the speed and we've got the forgiveness, ideally. Pretty good start, to be fair. Pretty good start. See, that was out the toe. Hasn't done much to come back. Still going. Yeah. Very, very impressive numbers these are. Very, very impressive indeed. Yep. 
It's the return of the shark. It's the Hammerhead 2.0. So this sits directly behind the face of the driver, um, making the sweet spot larger. So anything around the center is hotter, which is great because I never hit the center. You flip the driver over, and then you'll see, as we saw earlier, a lot going off. We've got this new tracking system that is inverted two 10 gram weights, and it's like a scale X-Trix track. There's so much going off, but it's awesome for fine tuning. So I've got this set, both 10 gram weights at the front. So this is gonna help us achieve a lower spinning flight, which I always need. Well, I don't need, I prefer. Obviously, if you put one weight up here and one weight up here, it's gonna be more stable. Boring, we don't want that. And if you wanna draw, you'll go here with both. If you wanna fade, you'll go here. But there are so many options available, like over a thousand different options with this tracking system. Sorry, I've got to hit it again. I love this thing. This could be the driver for me this year, but there is an M5 Tour. I'm gonna to be taking that driver out on the course. I'm pretty sure that's like 435cc, so it's smaller, the more playable option. This is just the standard, which just the standard is just fine, I can assure you. So we haven't got any gloss. It's matte at a dress, which I like straight away. Gives it a bit more of a sleek finish. Yeah, terrible swing. Just goes to show that no matter how good your technology is, if you hit it bad, nothing's gonna save you. So shaft options with this, you've got the Tenzai CK Orange 60, I'm pretty sure it is, and the hazardous smoke. We've just got the standard hazardous 6.5 in this, this is just a custom shaft. But I've gotta admit, obviously I hit different parts of the driver face for reviewing purposes only but it feels different in different parts of the face. I mean, that's got miles, but it does. It's very, very, very strange. However, it is without doubt the best sounding TaylorMade driver I've ever, ever heard. I can't wait to take this out of the course. That's another video going to happen. Always sounds better out on the golf course. That was heel. That felt terrible. Still gone, a very good way. That is very impressive. That was near the screw. Speaking of the screw again, people have asked me, what happens if you hit it there? And I want to know as well. So make sure you hit subscribe because I'm definitely going to do a video on what happens if you hit it out of the screw on the new TaylorMade driver. So there we have it. What a fantastic experience with the new M5 driver. I've said a lot recently, and especially in the most recent reviews, my back has been killing me. It's on the mend, but club head speed is way down. I require the driver to pick me up. I require technology and performance to help me here because I am not doing my 100% best. This is what it seems to be doing. I mean, if I play golf like this, I'd be pretty happy. I've had the, the odd wayward one, but like I said to you before, technology is not gonna help you. I'm sorry, there's nothing out there that's gonna stop you from hitting it in the trees. Facts. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm sad too, but it's, it's true. So, numbers are great. We've got club head speed 124, ball speed 176, very, very, very solid. Backspin 2000, which is lower. It's definitely lower. Not practical for me but it's definitely the backspin I'd go for. If I saw that number in a fitting, I would run out with the driver, definitely. One more thing to do here. So ticks in every box is for me with this driver, but is it gonna be workable? So we just need to do the workability test, bit of fun, high fade, high draw, low fade, low draw, stinger, straight, just to end the video. Thanks guys for watching, I always appreciate it. Make sure you hit subscribe. We've got so many videos coming up based around these tailor-made drivers. Um, if you need any more help, give us a call on 1-800-652-211. You can email me and of course, subscribe. Thank you. That's fading. First one, get in. The weird thing is I struggle to play a draw when I want to play a draw. My stock shot is a draw. Does that even make any sense? No. Love heart, come on. Oh.
So we finish there, do we need to do the rest of the shots? We don't do it. That didn't come out the middle, but who really cares? Give us a love heart, give us a love heart, give us a love heart. Come on, you runner. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count. It's drawing back, but it's oh, a bit extreme. If it's lower than the other draw, we'll take it. It is. It is. <laughs> or not. Bit of draw. Come on then, get on there. Get on. Now, this is the, the hardest one of the lot. The straight one. Oh, it's terrible. I've ruined it. That's not much better. Now, I've got the pulls. Not a great strike, but we're going to leave it there. Because I'm cooked. Ah. I love this thing. That was not the driver. I've said that before, and it's true. Thanks guys for sticking with me and if you did, you know what to do.